Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Prepare yourself for a hair-raising and spine-chilling experience like you have never had before. Stay to the end, and you will leave here with your insatiable curiosity for the supernatural and all odd things satisfied in ways you had never thought possible. We start today's trail cam collection with a weird and, quite frankly, scary one. Don't believe me? Have a look. Did you see that? Yep, that's definitely a deer with two noses. A property owner in Lancaster County spotted this double-nosed deer in the woods. The funny thing is, he was not even trying to find something odd. He was simply reviewing the beautiful wildlife footage his trail cam recorded. It was during this process that he noticed something rather odd. At first, he couldn't believe it and had to watch the video once again to be sure. He found himself re-watching the video multiple times, and who can blame him? After all, encounters like this are incredibly rare. The deformed deer had two noses, with one on top of the other. It may resemble a creature from a horror movie, but surprisingly, it's not. This unique condition can occur due to hormonal imbalances during pregnancy. That doesn't change the fact that it's freaky looking, though. Have you come across creatures like this? Let us know in the comments section. Next, we have this weird-looking girl that was captured on a trail cam. Although she's dressed in typical human attire, her features are anything but ordinary. Since the image was captured from a distance, discerning her facial features is challenging. However, what can be observed appears human except for her ears. Her ears look like that of a wolf sticking out from the top of her head like a character from Sweet Tooth. While the rest of her body appears human, a closer examination of her legs and feet reveals what appears to be furry legs rather than clothing. I don't know if this can be considered a mystical or alien creature. Part of me wants to believe she's simply a little girl in a wolf's costume, but there's an unsettling aura emanating from the image that challenges that notion. It's almost as though this isn't an attempted cosplay and we're actually looking at a young girl with wolf-like characteristics. I don't know of any mythical creature that fits the bill. Could scientists be cooking up something in their laps? Could this girl have escaped and gotten caught on a trail cam? Tell us what you think. Think that was peculiar and scary? Then I wonder what you make of this next capture. For some, it would look like a thing of nightmares. This creature was captured on a trail cam one night. The trail cam capture begins with a serene view of the woods. However, the tranquility of the woods is abruptly shattered as this creature enters the camera frame. At first glance, you might think it's a man, but you soon realize it's a weird humanoid creature with fur all over it. While it's difficult to ascertain if the blurriness affects its appearance, the creature seems to possess an ethereal, ghostly white fur. This creature looks fixated on something and simply walks right across the camera frame and then out of frame. We're limited by the fact that we're dealing with images, but you don't have to be an expert to know that this thing is a cryptid. What it is, though, remains a mystery for us. It's hard to call it a Bigfoot because of its ghostly or white-looking fur. Could it be a Yeti? No, that's not possible. The pictures don't appear to originate from a snowy or rocky region. There are no other cryptids that we can think of that fit the bill. Can you help, or do you think this is simply a man in a costume? Let us know in the comments section. Have you ever heard of the term Nephilim? How would you respond if I told you that they might actually exist and one man spent most of his life trying to prove this? Well, watch the footage. L.A. Mazzuli, the firm believer in the existence of the Nephilim, conducted an interview with a man claiming to have witnessed a creature emerging from a portal. As he was strolling through a park, the hiker noticed peculiar activity ahead, prompting him to grab his camera. A transparent bubble begins to form on the path. Upon closer inspection of the path, one can discern a round object in its trajectory. But that is not even the main issue. Right in the core of the invincible bubble, a hazy creature begins to form. 
This creature ranks up high on the list of things that would not be believed if they were not filmed. But as always, the experts had to make sure they were dealing with authentic footage. They conducted several tests, and guess what they uncovered? A long-headed creature, or should I say, the Nephilim crawling out of a portal. It's no news that humans are not alone, but sometimes these anomalies are just mind-boggling. It looked like the creature was changing and was now materializing in our plane or from whatever place it was coming from. Could that mean that these Nephilims are real like Ellie Mazzulli suspects? What do you think though? Should we be worried or is this an elaborate hoax? Next, we have footage that involves an unknown or identified tall being who for some odd reason seems to be in a hurry. The creature at first glance looks like an ape, but all who took a critical look at it speculated it was a Sasquatch. Some even stated it might be a Yeti, but the creature's brown fur and approximate height of seven feet align more closely with the characteristics of Bigfoot, possibly a juvenile. The creature, though heavy, still moves swiftly among the trees with ease. Sasquatch, Bigfoot, and Yeti are all cryptids with slight variations. All are huge ape-like creatures. Bigfoot and Sasquatch are known for their dark fur, typically black or brown, while Yetis are described with white or light brown fur. Yetis are found in the snowy Himalayan mountains. All these enigmatic creatures reside in the mountainous woodlands away from humans. Given this description, it's reasonable to assume that the creature we're seeing is a Bigfoot, but that still leaves us with numerous unanswered questions. Why is he running? Who or what was after him? Well, if you take a closer look at the footage, you realize the camera is following the cryptid, which means someone was filming. It was most likely trying to get away from humans. That's our assertion, though. What do you think? Next, we have something a bit more familiar, yet still extraordinary. Would you look at that? This dark-haired cryptid looks like a hybrid of a monkey and a bear. I wonder how that happened. But if you are a subscriber to this channel, you'll know that this is nothing new. Though we're used to such strange sightings and creatures, there is always a chill that runs through my spine when I see these creatures. Dealing with a bear or a fully grown ape is no easy feat. It can't be any easier when the creature is seemingly a hybrid of the two. The creature possesses a large muscular body similar to that of a bear, but it also displays a slight hunch reminiscent of a gorilla. It seems to be capable of walking on its two feet like a human, but you and I know that's no human or a gorilla or a bear. Then what is it? The dogman, Bigfoot, or an entirely new cryptid? Share your thoughts in the comments section. This next footage was taken by a biker who was riding through the forest, but what seemed like a fun day turned into a terrifying one when he encountered a creature we're still yet to identify during his ride. Watch the clip. The footage captures the biker riding along a path in the woods until he reaches a narrow trail with walls on both sides. As he was using the path, a pale creature leapt from the trees into the path as though it were trying to attack the rider. Startled, the biker looks back to catch a glimpse of the creature, but it disappears into the forest. Let's take another look. The creature looks like a monkey with its tail, except that it was hairless and the flesh looked pale. We can't see its face because it has its back facing the camera. It's creepy by all standards. It all happened so fast that it's difficult to accurately describe what was happening. I don't think this rider would be taking this route ever again after this scare. But what creature was that? Why did it suddenly appear on the path? Could it be an otherworldly creature? It's hard to answer these questions, but what do you think? Either this scene is just a weird party or something far more sinister. A peculiar group of individuals dressed in suits was caught on camera. They might just be a bunch of weirdos playing dress up, but in the middle of the night though, coming from the woods. Adding to the peculiarity, these suited individuals carry umbrellas and suitcases adorned with hats while behaving in a highly hysterical manner. Their jumps and erratic street running eerily mirror the iconic movements of Charlie Chaplin. 
Is this a Charlie Chaplin cult, or is there something more sinister happening here? After all, you can even see one person in a sinister-looking mask who appears to be their leader. But wait, it gets even more eerie. On the right side of the road where these individuals emerge from the forest, a red fire reminiscent of a bonfire illuminates the bushes. The whole scene here is bizarre, and it's hard to make sense of it. Is this some kind of costume party or a cult? Tell us what you think. Next, we have something that's not so sinister, yet more common in the woods than we would love to admit. Curious? Take a look at this clip. Yes, that's a deer with only three legs, and before you start feeling bad for it, this deer is totally fine and actually thriving. There are, however, some situations where a deer can lose a leg. Unfortunately, in such cases, the chances of survival for the deer are significantly diminished due to risks of infection, blood loss, and other complications. If a deer survives such an encounter and heals up successfully, it can adjust and move freely like any other deer. While they may not be as swift, these resilient deer develop heightened ears and senses compensating for the lost limb. So don't worry, Bambi is living his best life. Next, we have a capture that's unlike any we have ever captured of a cryptid. In this remarkable footage, we witness a cryptid strolling leisurely across a vast field. The creature is at least 10 feet tall and wears a black fur. Despite its ape-like physique, this enigmatic creature moves with an uncanny human-like gait. Do we know any creatures that fit this description? Yes, Bigfoot. Here's a question for you. Have you ever witnessed a Bigfoot moving so confidently in any of our trail cam captures? If you answered no, you're not wrong. But I can't help but wonder, where is it going? Bigfoots always seem to be on a mission, but where exactly are they headed? Is it toward their place of abode, or are they merely exploring their surroundings? Whatever the reason, the one in this capture seems to be the most confident, and we don't know how to feel about it. Great capture by all standards, though. It's funny to think that scarecrows are still a thing in this modern world, but if it isn't broken, well, don't fix it, right? After all, it's the only cost-effective way farmers can keep pests away from their crops. While it may not be foolproof, it manages to get the job done in some way or another. Over the years, farmers have gotten created with their scarecrow game, taking it up a notch. Scarecrows are already creepy standing stiff in the middle of a farm. Imagine adding movements to it. Super creepy, right? Well, these drone navigators fell into this scarecrow trap. As they flew their drone over a farm, they suddenly spotted a scarecrow. Moments later, to their surprise, the eerie straw man came to life, moving about the farm and menacingly waving a rake toward the camera. This left them spooked for a minute, believing the scarecrow was possessed, but it turned out to be nothing more than some guy in a costume. When you hear ghosts, you think of hauntings, murder, and death. But tell me why none of these ring a bell when I look at this footage. An apparition was caught on camera, crouched by a bin, and moments later it vanished. The figure looked ghostly and had what looked like arms waving before it vanishing into thin air. Now, why would a ghost be haunting a bin, and why would it be waving its hands? Is it trapped in some kind of a plane and is trying to escape to our world? Or is there something more sinister happening here? Is the footage even real at all? Tell us in the comment section. Are those black coyotes? Is there something demonic going on here? Or could they be shapeshifters? After all, when you think of coyotes, you think of a light of furred creature, but take a look at these black furred coyotes. If you know anything about human culture and its association with the color black, you know that some cultures will definitely see these creatures as a symbol of evil and bad luck, just like they do with black cats. But believe us when we tell you that these creatures are not actually cursed or anything. 
they're not even scientifically made or a different species of coyote. They're just regular coyotes, but this time they come in black. These are pretty rare and hard to come by. The dark fur gives them this mysterious looking vibe. Coyotes are nocturnal creatures, meaning they thrive at nighttime. They're in close relation to a wolf, but slightly smaller and were known as brush wolves, prairie wolves, and American jackals. They feed on any prey and occasionally munch on fruit when there's no meat available. All coyotes do this whether they're black or the usual color. I don't know who set the rule that black animals are evil. Looking at these magnificent creatures, I believe the person had it wrong. Very wrong. But what do you think? Would you believe us when we tell you that the ball of fire you see on your screen is actually no fire at all? Would you believe us when we tell you that sources say that it was a witch trying to escape the grasp of its captors? These days, it's hard to differentiate between myths and reality. Stories that used to be mythical can now be seen playing out in real life. In the past, aliens, slender men, and skinwalkers were all considered mythical stories. However, nowadays we have hundreds of bits of video evidence that seemingly prove their existence. I mean, take a look at this footage. Upon investigation, it was revealed that a woman engaged in activities that displeased her neighbors. In response, the community confronted her, but to their astonishment, she became engulfed in flames and descended into the sky. I don't know how true this is, but with how messed up reality is now, it might as well be true. Or what do you think? This hazy image was captured on a trail cam. There appears to be a moving being in the forest. Could it be a human? According to the uploader, who also happens to be the owner of the footage, the camera was placed in a remote area where the presence of humans is highly unlikely. The only reason there would be a human in the footage is as if he was a poacher. That sounds plausible until you start taking the height of whatever this hazy creature is into consideration. Then you realize that there's no way that it could be human. The height of the creature was calculated by considering the objects in the image, including the nearby trees. Guess the height of the creature after the calculations. It stood about eight feet tall, so it's not your average human size. There are speculations that this could be a Bigfoot and the height is the dead giveaway. I mean, if it's not a Bigfoot, then what other cryptid could it be roaming the woods in the dead of night? I think the crab came out of the waters to find a doll bride. As you can see, our friend Sebastian here has managed to get himself stuck in a Barbie doll head. Imagine this poor creature venturing out of the ocean for some fresh air, only to stumble upon a rubber bride in the form of a Barbie doll. Similar to fish, crabs rely on their gills to breathe underwater. However, unlike fish, crabs can survive on land for approximately 24 hours, but only if their gills remain moist. It's funny to think that a crab will decide to use its 24 hours to find itself a Barbie doll. It must really be lonely under the sea, huh, Sebastian? This is why you don't mess with abandoned buildings. This photographer visited an abandoned house. Ash was going around the house. This weird, pale-faced lady appeared at the window mumbling words to him. If that was me, I would have bolted long ago, but this adventurer stood filming the weird lady. Moments later, the strange woman snaps and starts yelling and banging at the window. Based on the cameraman's reaction, I suspect that this entire incident might be staged. I mean, who in their right mind could endure such a creepy situation? <laughs> Definitely not me. Secondly, if you closely examine the creature's skin, it appears as if someone is wearing a rubber costume. You can even see the face through the eyes of the mask, but what do you think? Next, we have a trail cam capture that has left me turning in bed for days. Take a look at the image. The usual me would have screamed Bigfoot, but there's something about this creature that makes me feel it's a creature much darker and sinister than a Bigfoot would be. Just look at the body. It's clearly taller than 9 or 10 feet, judging by its height in comparison to the surrounding trees. Aside from that, it's more upright than any of the Bigfoot we've ever reviewed on this channel, and it wears a frown. Never before have we seen a Bigfoot with such a frown or sinister expression. 
Is this really a Bigfoot, or is there another cryptid with similar characteristics that's even more dangerous and sinister? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. This footage was taken by a ghost hunter who went searching on a strange field in the middle of the woods. In the field, he found graves and other weird objects hanging on tree branches, including necklaces made of human teeth. If that doesn't scream cursed, I don't know what would. However, the man doesn't leave. He continues searching the land until he discovers a woman crouched on the ground, wearing a black cloak. The puzzled man yells at her. This alarms the woman and sends her bolting out of there. He attempts to run after the woman, but he trips and falls, allowing her to narrowly escape. It appears that the woman was involved in something suspicious. Why else would she flee in such a manner? Is she perhaps a witch casting a spell or something? Share your thoughts. For our next footage, I think it'd be best if you saw it before you heard anything I had to say. Did you see that? What do you make of it? The individuals behind the camera believe they captured a sighting of a skinwalker. Now, let's delve into the analysis. The video begins with a group of young men capturing a breathtaking landscape on camera. It appears they were on a hike, trek, or a camping expedition, eager to document the beauty surrounding them. Their peaceful recording is abruptly disrupted when an individual dashes into the frame only to vanish just as quickly. At first glance, it may not seem out of the ordinary, but upon closer inspection, you'll notice something unsettling about the man's appearance. His arms are of unnatural proportions, and he runs a little hunched across the screen. It's no surprise that the young man suspect it could be a skinwalker. But is it, though? Opinions within the paranormal community are divided, with some believing it's a skinwalker, while others remain skeptical. They find it hard to believe. After all, how could they conveniently be filming at the exact spot where the skinwalker appeared seemingly out of nowhere and managed to capture it on camera? But what do you think? Is this a genuine case of a skinwalker, or do you smell an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts with us. Next, we have this scary and, quite frankly, spine-chilling video that we have failed to come up with an explanation for. In this footage, you won't believe what we've stumbled upon. A bizarre creature that gives me serious Gollum vibes from Lord of the Rings. The creature is bald and seems to be devouring something on the ground. There's no telling what, but it notices the one filming and stares sharply in his direction. The video ends there. What do you think that is? We had to go through our list of cryptids and paranormal creatures, yet found nothing that remotely looked like or acted like this creature. Could it be a creature of the night that had escaped the nether realm into ours? Could it be, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, a demon? Now, before you dismiss this notion, remember that while the existence of such creatures cannot be scientifically proven, neither can they be disproven. Is this one of them, though? Well, it's hard to say. The footage could be the result of an elaborate hoax. It could also be a fake. Can we say for certain what it is? No, we can't. But as always, what do you think? Next, we take a trip to a creepy inn in England. Wow, that's uh, quite a mouthful. Anyway, back to our clip. Would you visit a place that has a reputation for being creepy and weird with a lot of unexplained paranormal occurrences? If you answered no, you are not alone, but such an answer would be unacceptable for the individuals responsible for the clip. They decided to visit the ancient Ram Inn, knowing perfectly well that the place was well known for creepy occurrences. Once they were settled in, they decided to offload their bags and set up a camera in hopes of capturing a paranormal occurrence on camera. It didn't take too long, however, as their camera bag started to move by itself once they were almost done setting up their camera. Luckily, the camera was already rolling and we managed to capture the entire incident on film. If you pay attention to the audio, you'll hear a woman's startled remarks. Personally, I don't see why they're shocked because they signed up for it. Take it from this footage. Before choosing your next inner hotel, make sure you do your homework. 
those funny stories you've heard about a place. Unless you're actively seeking thrills, it's best not to randomly choose a place to spend the night during your trip. Who knows what horrors you may encounter. You have been warned. Next, we have another capture of the Dogman, Wolfman creature we shared earlier. This was received separately, albeit from the same location. I can't help but think it might actually be a never-before-seen type of cryptid. The increasing number of captures suggests that these creatures might be multiplying or that our presence in their territory is more frequent than ever before. What are your thoughts? If you've received a dollar for every time I asked you if you believe in ghosts on this channel, you'd probably be a millionaire by now. Yes, that's an exaggeration, but you get the idea. Either way, I'm gonna have to ask once again. Do you believe in ghosts? If you answered no, boy, do I have a video for you. The trail cam originally set up in the woods to capture animal activity ended up capturing something unexpected, a man walking through the woods. Upon observing the area, one can discern that despite being in the woods, it's a frequently traversed pathway by people. The presence of a well-used pathway indicates regular human activity in the area. There's just one problem, though. This video was captured very late at night. Very, very late. Nighttime in urban areas is considered dangerous in many areas. How much more the woods with unpredictable animals and possibly dangerous people? Interestingly, the young man in the video appears unperturbed by these potential risks as he leisurely walks into the frame. A few seconds into the video, however, we confirm what I've been saying as he's suddenly attacked by an unknown person. Correction, did I say person? I actually meant an unidentified being. Whatever attacked him is clearly not human because, unlike the young man that's clearly visible, this being or creature or whatever it is seems blurry. Did a ghost just push him over? Well, the exact answer remains elusive, but one thing is certain, the footage has not been edited. So tell me, what do you think we're dealing with here? A ghost or some otherworldly creature? Or do you have a logical explanation for us? Watch the footage. What do you see? Did you see the ape-like creature? What do you think it is initially? One might consider it to be a gorilla, but the surroundings do not match their typical habitat. This leads us to consider the potential contender, a cryptid like Bigfoot or the Sasquatch. It's however hard to tell because of how far this creature is. It's hard to tell if it's walking on two feet or moving on its knuckles like gorillas do. But what do you think? What are we dealing with here? Next, we have this very unclear yet intriguing and quite frankly disturbing footage. This trail cam reportedly captured what you see on your screens currently. It's a trail cam that had been set up somewhere in Australia as far back as 2014 to capture trail cam footage. Turns out that the owner of the trail cam captured more than he bargained for. But what exactly are we looking at here? The truth is, nobody really knows. Members of the paranormal community, however, believe this might actually be a rare footage of the Australian Yowie. For those who don't know, the Australian Yowie is supposed to be a cousin of the Bigfoot that lives in Australia. Yes, you heard right. The Bigfoot has a much larger family than we probably know. But is this footage legit though? The truth is, that's hard to ascertain due to the age of the footage and its quality. This is one of the types of footage where you actually need faith to believe. So what say you? Is it fake or is it the real thing? Tell us in the comments section. Now, this is one of those captures where I am actually speechless. Reproduction between deer is usually between a doe and a buck, but can you believe our luck? Three at a time? I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see it. Turns out deers can be naughty sometimes too. Perhaps threesomes didn't originate from freaky humans after all. Stepping away from all things naughty and fun, we have another elusive capture. Taking a closer look at the image, it's undeniable that we're looking at an ape-like creature walking upright like a human. If you've been following the trend of today's captures, then you know that's definitely not an ape. 
The only thing it has in common with an ape is its appearance. Beyond that, the creature you're seeing is actually believed to be a cryptid, a Bigfoot to be specific. It does have the fur for the part and walks upright just like a human. Upon closer inspection, despite the blurry image, it becomes apparent that the creature has a baby on its back. Yes, you heard right, a Bigfoot baby. If you have followed this channel for long, then you know we've come across various footage of Bigfoot with young ones. Some of the footage even has Bigfoot moving with toddlers. This footage does add some credibility to those. It does confirm that Bigfoot do have families and a social structure. But is this image legit though? We'll want to hear your thoughts. Before I say anything, watch this video. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? If you say no, then you are just like me when I watch the video. But it's also a revelation that you and I should never visit the woods alone as we could be in the presence of a very dangerous animal and never notice. If you look at the footage more closely, you'll see that there is a weird-looking head emerging from the branches of one of the trees. I know there are some weird-looking lizards out there, but I'm pretty sure this one isn't normal. It outright looks prehistoric. Taking a closer look at the image, however, a part of me feels that this might not be real. As much as I love the paranormal, this image looks manipulated to me. But perhaps that's just me. Perhaps there is a dangerous prehistoric looking lizard out there and the owner of this footage was just lucky to have escaped unharmed. But what do you think? We've seen the ghosts and spirits of humans more often than we can state on this channel, but what about animals? If anyone asked whether animals had ghosts, I would have laughed at the idea. But here is a video challenging that assertion. If you watch the video closely, you see an owl moving through the environment. At this moment, it looks like any other owl, but once the owl lifts off from the ground, we see what looks like a ghostly form of a bird lift off as well and fly in the opposite direction. Unlike the real bird that lands on the stump in front of it, the ghostly shadow disappears. If that's a ghost, what does that mean? Because the bird is still alive. Or could it be a spirit of that particular forest that takes the form of owls because they populate the area? Well, we can't say for sure, but it could also be another worldly creature taking the form of the bird. From a logical standpoint, we are stumped. There seems to be no explanation for this baffling footage. One possibility is that the camera could be reacting in peculiar ways under certain conditions. If that's the case, can any one of you explain? We'd like to read it in the comments section. Next up, we have another capture from a trail cam in the woods. In this motion trail capture, we see an ape-like creature walking through the woods as though it were no one's problem. But once you start taking a critical look at the creature, you soon realize that it's no ape at all. It's longer arms than you'd expect from a traditional ape, and it's moving in a way apes do not naturally move. Its movements almost look human-like, which the most skilled chimpanzee would not be capable of emulating. What's more, the area within which the footage was taken has no apes in the region. There is only one explanation, the sighting then, Bigfoot. But what do you think? Do giant spiders exist? If you answered no, how do you explain this? Yes, what you're seeing on your screen is an actual blanket of spider webs. A group of individuals walked into the forest and found various trees covered in spider webs, something that we might have relegated to fiction in the past. If I were there, I'd freak out thinking some ancient giant spider was lurking. I'd probably run for my life. Interestingly, the people who stumbled upon this place had the exact same thought. I mean, if there was a spider capable of putting such giant trees in a web, then it certainly had to be big. But fortunately for them, they never encountered anything deadly or dangerous. Scientists carefully examined the footage and conducted on-site investigations. After testing the web, they came up with a new hypothesis. They stated that instead of one giant spider, the web could have come from thousands of smaller spiders who may have multiplied due to an abundance of food during the summer. What do you think, though? This is a trail cam video we're really glad was captured. Not many footages like it exists. It looks like these bears had a bone to pick with each other and neither held back. 
Given that bears can be quite territorial, it'll be no surprise to find out that these two were simply fighting over their territory. Probably one of the bears had invaded the part of the other, and it was simply defending its land. Although we'll never know which one was defending and which was invading, it's evident that the darker bear is much stronger and heavier, at least from our point of view. He succeeded in knocking down the cinnamon bear quite a number of times. The beatdown quickly got to the cinnamon bear, and seeing that there was no hope the cinnamon bear had calmed down in hopes of the dark, aggressive bear doing the same. But that didn't happen. They then started circling the tree. This thankfully seemed to have done the trick as it decreased the tension and both parties lost interest in the bout. But this may be considered a classic case of assault and battery, depending on who was making the report and how they presented their case. Next, we have this footage from 2012. The video was recorded by a man who kept seeing a young ghost girl in the woods close to his home. Perplexed by the reoccurring encounters with the ghostly girl, he decided to record her, unsure if capturing a ghost on camera was even possible or if the ghost would reveal herself. During the initial moments of the footage, there's nothing apparent. However, keep a close eye on the left side of the screen and you might catch a glimpse. Did you see it? It's faint, but a little girl runs out of frame at the left side of the screen. She appears from behind the tree and quickly runs off. In contrast to numerous online ghost videos featuring exaggerated apparitions, this one maintains a subtlety that lends its authenticity. And you know what? It makes me think this could be the real deal. But what do you think? Next, we have a strange and eerie looking video. In this clip, we see a young lady and a young man going through the woods and laughing. Given how the young lady laughs and looks at the young man filming their time in the woods, I would not be surprised if they were together. Taking a closer look at the footage, it either looks like the lady is topless or she's got a very small top on. It's hard to tell because of the quality of the clip. Not to jump to conclusions, but perhaps they had something naughty planned. Whatever the case, they won't see it come to fruition. A very short creature appears from nowhere and starts to move in their direction. The creature, however, seems particularly interested in the girl. She, on the other hand, is amused seeing this ape-like short and, for a lack of better words, ugly creature taking an interest in her. She approaches it, and then it launches at her. At that moment, she starts running from it, and so does the cameraman. But what is that? Initially, we had no idea, but after reviewing local folklore from where the footage was taken, we realize it's called a palm barrow. It's a very small cryptid that's said to go after naughty girls. It kisses them and sometimes gets intimate with them. Given what the lady is wearing and where they are, perhaps they had a naughty agenda planned, which may have lured Don Pombero out. But what do you think? Next, we have this creepy clip that's not exactly from the wild, but offers a similar thrill, if not more. In the clip, we see a woman call out to her pet dog who is laying down staring at something out of frame. The one recording the footage is obviously curious and tries to see what has her dog's attention. She walks in and is met with these weird looking eyes staring from the darkness. She almost immediately gasps and then retreats. One question remains, what is that creature? The one who recorded and uploaded the video believes it could be some type of cryptid, and given the bizarre circumstances, that's not impossible, but we have watched the footage over and over and can't help but feel it might be a cat or a raccoon or some other small creature. A closer look, and it looks like the creature is sitting on something. What do you see, though? If you're enjoying this video and haven't hit the like and subscribe buttons already, this would be a good time to do so.
What would you do if you saw cat paw prints on your property, especially if they looked like they belonged to a very big cat? Well, unsure of what he was looking at, a man from Idaho set up a trail cam to capture whatever was responsible for the paw prints on his property, and boy was he in for a shock. It was no house cat. It was something along the lines of a mountain lion that had made itself at home on his property and had decided to dedicate his time and effort to hunt as often as possible on the property. It might not have been the discovery he was looking for, but it was one that might have saved his life. At least, he'll know how to conduct himself on the property. Talking about animals that are out of place, have you ever seen cranes taking a casual stroll through the woods? Well, this trail cam captured something that not many would have thought a possibility. What were these cranes doing in the woods? Were they migrating, or is there something more sinister at play that we don't know about? Share your ideas with us in the comment section. And now for the video for which you're here, the feral hog hunt that didn't go as anticipated. In the swamps of Mississippi, a young man went to his regular spot hoping to hunt down some feral hawks. He got to his spot by 6 p.m. There was nothing to worry about as this was something he did on a regular, but today was no regular day. Close to 50 yards from his spot, he could hear some noise. Getting his gun ready and looking in that direction, he sees it's no feral hawk. Instead, something he'd never seen before. The creature before him was black, hairy, and muscular. He couldn't tell how tall it was, but he knew it had to be quite tall judging from its height in its crouched position. Startled, he takes his phone out to record. At least he'd have to have some evidence when he told people he'd seen such a creature, lest people teased and made fun of him. Beyond that, it was also to confirm that his eyes weren't playing tricks on him. After all, it was hard to believe that there could be something so big and scary on the same property he'd lived on for years. I'd recommend you watch this in the highest available quality to see every detail possible. It was recorded on a phone with its zoom engaged after all. As he watched and contemplated on what creature he could possibly be looking at, the creature ripped off either a bark or branch from the tree it stood by. The shocking thing, however, was it did not do it in a way an animal would, instead in a way a human would. After a second or two, he throws it into the water and you can hear a splash. The creature keeps digging and rips off some more branches or bark. The young man is still watching, trying to figure out what the creature was doing as well. His thoughts were interrupted when the creature before him suddenly stood up. It was not just the way it stood up, but how it did. It did so in the very way a human would, using both his legs and back. This startled the man, but for the first time, he could see the creature in all its glory. It was big. It was tall and it was muscular. This startled the man and he ran without looking back. The last thing he wanted was to have that creature on his trail. If you've watched horror movies or anything, you know that this is the best decision to have taken. But we are still lost. What was that creature? Why was it there? And what was it doing? If you've watched horror movies, you know little girls with teddy bears in a dark forest are never good news. This is certainly what the man whose trail camera captured this footage thought. If you look closely, you see a little girl holding a teddy bear and staring at the camera. If this does not send chills down your spine, I don't know what would. The man whose trail camera captured this tried to convince himself that it was only a little girl who had wandered from a campsite. There was, however, one problem. There were no campsites nearby. If there were, he would have noticed. The only other explanation was not a pleasant one that he wanted to think about, but it was the only plausible one. If what he was seeing was not a real girl, then it was likely a spirit, either one who had taken the form of a girl or the actual spirit of a girl who had died or been murdered in the woods. He couldn't say for sure which it was, but he knew it was best that he avoided that part of the forest at night. Next, we have the Grey Lady. It was supposed to be a walk just like any other night, a night out enjoying each other's company and basking in the moonlight with their dogs in tow. At least, that's what they thought. But little did they know that their night out at Clumba Park in Nottinghamshire, England was not going to be as blissful as they had envisioned. As Hannah and David Rowett were on their walk, they felt an uneasy and unexplainable presence. The path looked cold and lonely, but had never been a problem before. 
The couple noticed a translucent image of an unknown being passing by them, suddenly and quickly. This naturally made them defensive, and they looked around to make sure they were not imagining things. Lo and behold, they were not. There was a ghost-like creature stalking them. They panicked and were both afraid. One of the two, were not sure who, took out a phone to record, hoping to catch a glimpse of whatever was scaring them as proof of their ordeal, assuming they made it out alive. I mean, I'm grateful they did get the footage and everything, but if it was me and my wife, well, <laughs> we would have been long gone. What have they just seen? Well, there's a legend that Clumber Park is haunted by a spirit called the Grey Lady. She was supposed to be a woman in a long coat that often crawled on her limbs and had a ghostly or translucent appearance like we see in the footage. But had they met the Grey Lady, they believed that they had. Fortunately for them, they were not cursed and neither did they die. Deer fall prey to almost all predators in the wild, so they are constantly on the run. With their dangerous antlers sticking out of their heads, bumping into one of them will certainly hurt, and in more serious situations, end quite brutally. Imagine riding at top speed on your favorite mountain, only to be hit by a deer from nowhere. This biker didn't have to. He lived it. A deer crashed into him at top speed, which sent him tumbling into a ditch. The deer, on the other hand, fell by the road. We can't tell how injured it is, but with a crash like that, we can guess pretty badly. The biker would also not go home without a scratch. I don't know, but I believe this should serve as a warning to us humans when we venture into territories that do not belong to us. As beautiful as nature is, we cannot deny that there is still some questionable things that lurk in the darkness. This footage from a trail cam captured something unexpected, as you can see. A wolf is walking by in the trail cam in the dead of night. That's nothing unusual, right? Well, then tell me why there's a dark mass with a pair of glowing eyes in the darkness moving behind the fox. What in the world is that? There's no way it's another creature like the black bear. They don't just appear and disappear like that. Some may say it's the result of operating the camera in a low-light environment, but, well, I, I don't believe it. Something is definitely out there. I may not be able to tell what, but I do believe it's waiting for the right time to strike. Could we really be looking at a family of Bigfoot? Many Bigfoot fanatics seem to think so, but is that really the case? This footage was sent in by one of the Bigfoot fanatics, and he believes he's captured an entire family of Bigfoot. At first glance, it looks like you're watching a group of monkeys lazing around until they stand on their two legs and begin to walk off into the woods. It then becomes very evident that the creatures are much taller and hairier than any known monkey species. The proportions of their arms and legs are just like ours, but they're covered head to toe in fur. Could it be Sasquatches? Bigfoot hunters everywhere are sure to be buzzing about this video, and for good reason. If this is the real deal, could there be an entire colony of these mysterious creatures hiding from human eyes? Tell us what you think. This next footage is quite odd. Unlike the other deer we've seen and will see in today's footage, this deer happens to be doing something rather odd and strange. A hunter was walking through the woods when he caught sight of the deer stiff and standing in the middle of the woods. He tried scaring it off and poking it with his arrow, but the deer did not blink. It wasn't until the man struck the antlers of the deer that the deer awoke up from whatever trance it was stuck in and fled immediately. What was that? Was that a glitch in the Matrix? The answer is no, and it had nothing to do with aliens or physical trauma either. The buck was simply scared and engaged its survival strategy known as frozen in place or freezing in place. I wanted to believe it was possessed, but apparently there is a science that disproves it. Yay, science. Now take a close look at this footage. You can see a pair of wings flapping on a green field. A deer rushes to the spot with flapping wings and suddenly attacks whatever bird that is. With no context, you start wondering, what's going on here? A few seconds after, a little rabbit runs out from that very spot and becomes evident that the deer had actually gone to save the life of the rabbit. There was actually no reason for the deer to put itself in harm's way, but it did. Could there have been an existing bond between the animals, or was it merely a function of coincidence? That's a question for the forest gods. Next, we have another image of a slender-looking creature that doesn't look like any other animal I know. The image is quite blurry, hence it's hard to tell what it actually really is. 
The paranormal community has been left divided on what this is. There are some who think it's a bipedal man, which essentially is referring to a Bigfoot, and then there's the half who believe that it's simply a hoax being passed off as the real thing. If you ask me, however, I will tell you that it could go either way. It could be someone passing off as fake as the real thing to gain their five minutes of fame. It won't be the first time someone has tried to take advantage of the enthusiasm of the paranormal community, and the community hates it. There's nothing more frustrating than being confronted with false positives when trying to prove the existence of something. It could also genuinely be the real thing, but only difficult to tell because of the quality of the image. It's all confusing at this point. What do you think, though? What would you do if you cross-checked the CCTV cam outside your property to make sure everything was fine and discovered a rather peculiar and paranormal-looking creature moving right outside your property? The creature doesn't seem to be walking like a normal human being. Instead, it looks like it's running, yet not normally, but weirdly. It almost looks like The Flash does in his movies. But here's the strange part. This creature is pale white with an ethereal appearance. It's perplexing because we can't determine whether it's running, gliding, or even floating. The owner of the footage is truly freaked out and wondering if the neighborhood is safe. Just imagine the unsettling feeling of doubting your neighborhood's safety. It's not about thugs lurking around, it's the fear of unseen otherworldly creatures that keep you on edge. It must be tough being them right now. It takes a certain kind of warm-heartedness to be a farmer, especially one that works with the animals. It must feel very rewarding to feed these animals and watch them grow. Perhaps that's why farmers are some of the kindest and most down-to-earth people on this planet. But let's face it, it's not always rainbows and sunshine, is it? Apparently not. Here is a weird and frankly disturbing video from a farm in Pakistan. I mean, this is no optical illusion, folks. You're actually seeing two calves joined together from the stomach. Even though they have separate organs like hind legs and tails, they share a single stomach. When the two-headed calf or set of conjoined calves were born, the village immediately deemed them cursed. The calves were seen as nothing but a bad omen, but here's what the scientific community had to say. They explained that it's rare but a possible phenomenon where the embryos of an organism don't split properly. This possibility gains credibility because we've actually observed similar phenomena in humans too. But what do you think? Are they a sign of a curse, or is it everyone just being irrational and superstitious? Next up is this odd footage that was taken across the street in the city. At first glance, you'll think the creature in view is a stray dog, but as the video plays out, you realize that it looks nothing like your everyday dog. Its body proportions do not fit the description of a regular dog, and it appears to be hairless, almost sharing the likeness of a chupacabra. But what if, I mean, what if it's not just sharing the likeness of the chupacabra, but is actually one? As the video shows, it's seen munching on something, or should I say, sucking out its blood. And we all know who's infamous for feasting on livestock blood, right? None other than the good old Chuppy. Now, here's a million dollar question. Do you think that that's just some stray dog, or could it possibly be a real life chupacabra? Tell us in the comment section. This image just sends shivers down my spine. The idea of the Wolfman actually existing is a nightmare to many people, yet here's an image that might just prove that they do exist. In the image, we see a dark-furred beast with somewhat human features. The posture of the headshot makes it seem to appear to be standing on two legs. As much as the image seems frighteningly real, deep down, I had a hunch that it might just be a costume, and it turns out I was right. Despite some attempts to present it as a paranormal creature sighting, our investigations revealed that it actually belonged to a popular costume maker, putting an end to the mystery and the excitement surrounding the image. Bummer. As if we haven't had enough surprises today, take a look at this trail cam footage. Is this some kind of wildlife circus show? Three mountain lions were captured moving on sticks. To be fair, it appears to be a fence, but it's still undeniably impressive. I still don't know what's going through their minds, but maybe they were having a hard time catching prey and decided to look around or perhaps wait and lure them in. No matter what, I bet circus masters and animal trainers would love to have this kind of spectacle in their shows. If this proves anything, 
it's that it's better to observe animals in their natural habitats than to confine them in circuses where they're forced to perform tricks using cruel methods and training. What do you think? If you were wowed by the circus trio, this will blow your mind. I don't know what scientists are cooking up in their labs, but this is very suspicious. Someone managed to capture an insect, and you won't believe what they found. It had the number 36 branded on it. Unless you have an explanation for insects getting numbers tattooed on them, this worries me and is quite frankly scary. Is this some kind of lab-generated insect, or a spy insect with the designation Agent 036, or is it merely a fake? Initially, I was skeptical and thought it might be fake, but then another person shared footage of a smaller insect with similar markings. Could these insects be artificially created due to a scarcity of insects capable of performing specific functions, or are the scientists involved in something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments section. This photo was taken in the woods where no one was supposed to be living. Despite being a remote region, there was a hole in the ground shaped like a coffin. It was almost as though a grave had been dug out of the place, but whose grave? Although we don't have much info, conspiracy theories on what it might possibly be are flying all over the paranormal community. Some believe it's a coffin belonging to a vampire, whereas some claim the dead buried centuries ago had risen. All these sound ridiculous, but we currently have no logical explanations for the scenario. Do you? Yes, I did mention today's video was going to be about animals, but I saved this rather odd footage for last, and no, it's not about animals. Look closely. What do you see? At first glance, it looks like Pennywise from the It movie came to life and wandering the woods. He approaches the trail cam in a horror movie style until he's completely visible. Once in view, it becomes very apparent that we're not dealing with Pennywise, but a cheap and poor copy of him. But why was he in the woods? What was he doing there? Was he from a dress-up party, or was he simply a weird dude who likes to put on a costume? We'll never know. Now to something a tad on the dark and confusing side. It's not uncommon for us to associate the gathering of dark feathered birds with the signs of evil and eerie happenings. If you're one of those people, this image might unsettle you. A trail camera set up in the woods captured these birds. The image quality makes it a bit challenging to pinpoint the exact species, but if you can get past the apocalyptic vibes these birds give, you can certainly enjoy the sight. It's beautiful. Apocalyptic and disturbing, but beautiful. If you know what species of bird this is, we'd be very grateful if you could share it with us in the comments section. We'd really love that very much. Do you like to go on late night drives? Do you love the dark? Do you like to feel lost in nature? Then perhaps you should watch this video because your life might just be in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, watch this video. We're not told where the owners of this footage were going or where he was from, but one thing we do know from the footage is wherever he was, it was not safe. If you look at the footage closely, you'd see the dark patches on the soil, and if you follow the trail, you'd see the creature there. Did you see it? Yes, it's faint, but it's still there. Why are you thinking what I'm thinking? Could we be looking at a real-life actual ghost? Well, the one who uploaded it and a majority of the paranormal community seems to think so. Many even thought he barely escaped with his life because whatever it was could have easily killed him. They believe it let him see it because it wanted to and let him go because it wanted to as well. But why? We don't know. There are some who believe it's a hoax and not true. By some, I mean a very small portion of the paranormal community and a large section of the scientific community. So we have to ask you, what do you think? Still on Ghosts, watch this CCTV cam footage. Did you see it? Did you see that foggy creature just walk through the scene? This is a video that does not need a lot of explanation or commentary. It's hard to call whatever it is a shadow creature because of its white appearance, but whatever it is, it's just leisurely walking by as if it felt at home. Could we have just witnessed the ghost of someone who died on the property? If we did, why is it roaming the property? What did it want? Could it have died in a horrible way and was seeking peace? 
that we may never find answers to. But if this was your property and that was truly a ghost and not an otherworldly creature, would you stay or leave? Do you like visiting ancient castles? Then you should watch this. This footage belongs to a family that has gone sightseeing in the woods. Unlike many of the families on this trail cam collection, they were not out to see animals but castles. Their castle viewing activity was however ended rather abruptly because of the screams of the children. Why were they screaming? They had seen something, something we struggle to see in the footage, but it's there. A closer look at the footage and you see traces of it. There's a dark creature in the woods. But what creature could it be? Well, we don't know. Do you? If you have heard stories of any dark creatures that hang around castles, please do share them in the comments section. We'd love to read them. This trail camera was set up to help scientists know how animals in the wild would react to mirrors, and boy, did they capture some very interesting footage. Out of all of the captures, this one is definitely my favorite. When it comes to apes, they can be wild and aggressive, especially those raised in the untamed wilderness. Dominant males take the aggression to the next level when they need to protect their territories or compete for mating opportunities. So this male right here spots a stranger in his territory and immediately goes into action trying to scare him off. Here's the weird part. Whatever it does to try and intimidate the enemy, the stranger mimics it. At times, it's almost as if the stranger is more aggressive than the ape itself. The ape tries adding branches to intimidate, but it doesn't work. To counter this, the ape wastes no time adding branches, but this too doesn't seem to work. Clearly it doesn't realize that the stranger is him and is merely fighting his own reflection. I wonder what its reaction would be when it finally realizes it's been fighting itself all this while. We sign off today with one of, if not the scariest of today's compilation. Think I'm exaggerating? Well, take a look at this capture. Do you see it? Do you see how scary and eerie looking it is? What in the world is it? A werewolf? A chupacabra? Or something entirely different? Whatever it is, it couldn't be safe to be around. If the red eyes are not a giveaway, the rest of its body should send the message loud and clear. One thing bothers me though. The sheep don't seem to be perturbed by the presence of the creature. This makes me feel like it could be an edited photo or a man in a costume. But what do you think? We'd love to know. And that concludes it for today. We'll see you in the next video.